So I wanted to talk a little bit about this because it's been on my mind a lot and I feel like as I go through my 20s, I am constantly changing so much and it honestly scares me sometimes. Like my thoughts, my opinions, what I want to do in life, my perspective, like literally changes so often. I don't know if that's a me problem or if that's normal, I don't know, but I'm going through my 20s. I feel like just so much change happens, you know? I had started my rave business last year, 2022, and I was really excited about it. It. I was so excited to sew. I was so excited to learn and I was so excited to like fashion design because I do feel like I'm good at that I feel like I'm good with all that stuff. I know how to like mix colors together I feel like I'm maybe better on the fashion side of it than like the sewing side of it Which I was still really good at for being a newbie, but I, I didn't really have any experience before this So I spent so many hours so much blood sweat and tears learning how to sew buying everything I needed and making everything look good I started my store. I started making these fairy sets and it went viral immediately on TikTok which brought in like a lot of people and it was not like hard to grow it was not a business that like wasn't doing well like I feel like it was doing well so I did like a second drop of my fairy sets that did really well and then I just all of a sudden was like I can't do this like it literally was so hard on me to sew I just didn't know like I don't know how to explain it like I really thought like oh my god I can do this great you don't think about just how long it takes and how much work it is and how tedious it is and how frustrating it can be and I'm just like okay like I learned to sew but like it's just not something that I genuinely enjoy so after I did my second drop I was like I literally don't want to do this but like I still had hope for my business because I feel like it was doing decently well and stuff and like my concept was really good I made so many outfits honestly though that I have since sold like I did make a lot for me as like one person getting into this sewing adventure for really no reason just because I had an idea and was like oh this is great let me do it like I can do it I can do anything and I just feel like that is so toxic for me because one I'm not somebody to rush I'm literally a Taurus rising I need to take my time on things for it to like turn out how I really really want you can't rush me with anything so the fact that I was so rushed with that and I was like trying to meet deadlines and I was like trying to get people's outfits out and it was like probably the most stressful thing I've ever gone through and in October last year is when I was like oh my god I'm 112.7 pounds I remember that specifically because on my weight loss journey I couldn't really get below 116 and then all of a sudden I weighed myself in late October after I did blood sweat and tears for like two months a month and a half of this sewing stuff and I was the lowest I'd ever been and I'm telling you it's because of that now I hover around 116 to 118 I literally don't know if I'll ever get back there because of how hard I was working on sewing and I feel like if you're not a seamstress like you have no idea like how much work it really is it was too much for me and so I took my like long hiatus of not making fairy sets I just kind of realized like okay I don't think I had a plan going into this I think I literally was just so excited about an idea and like I, I just think I'm like kind of crazy and like I just do that all the time I'll just throw myself into something I did the same thing with OnlyFans years ago where I just kind of like threw myself into it it was like sure you know and like it's not always for my best interest it's not always what I want to do in the long run so I feel like I also just was very girl bossy last year and like I love that for people like do your thing make your money I love the concept but for me I always knew the day would come where like I'm at where I'm at now where I could kind of like just let off the brakes and get into this position where he's pretty much taking care of us it is literally so nice and it makes me want to film YouTube like I just want to vlog my life because I don't have to and that's just how I am I don't want to have to do anything and that is what I'm realizing about myself like so basically what I'm trying to say is like I don't need to have like 10 businesses open like my Amazon candles do amazing and they sell well and people love them and I love them and I love that like that's so fun for me and it's so easy and I love YouTube at the end of the day I literally want to take care of Callie I want to hang out with the pups I want to get another pup but I only have one pup right now. I want to hang out with her. I want to cook when I have to. I want to grocery shop. I want to go shopping for decor. I want to tidy up the house. I want to do the laundry. And I want to vibe. I quit Pretty Pixie because I didn't want to do it. I realized, like, I'm not meant to be a business owner. I'm not really that hardworking, if I'm being honest with you. The most I've ever been hardworking in my life is YouTube. Because I genuinely love this. And I love you guys. And meeting you guys makes my day. I am just a slow bitch. I take my time. I don't really want to work and I vibe when you put a business like sewing in front of me it was probably the dumbest decision I could have ever made it's not for me it's not for me and you have to realize in your 20s you go through so many changes and things where you're just like that's not for me I tried it and I realized it wasn't for me and it's okay to quit it's okay to quit 
okay to be like, mm, didn't work out. So I'm just like happy I'm a lot more calm and content and don't force yourself to do stuff and don't spend money on something that's also not making like a crazy return because I feel like that's kind of where I was at. Like I was just spending so much money like trying to do all these different ideas and I just feel like it was cutting into my profits and so I was like, if I can't sustain this then I'm just spending all my profits on buying stuff and materials and then I'm gonna end up quitting which I like kind of felt like I was gonna end up quitting and then when Shopify has their like yearly website fee which is like 350 I was like I could spend 350 right now to potentially quit in a month and then that was just a waste of 350 or I could just quit now and say sayonara so that's why I quit I think it shut down officially early September and like I can't even tell you how happy it made me like I felt like true relief I was like happy you made the right decision like you know when you just make the right decision and I've been doing that a lot lately I've been like kind of sacrificing things and just being like smart and adult with how I go about things in the world these are right decisions they're hard to make in the beginning but a lot of the best decisions are hard to make in the beginning so you just gotta do it okay so this is my seamstress story. I'm gonna kind of tell you guys what happened. I kind of realized over the summer and I had been thinking for a long time, I don't think I want to do like sewing long term. I don't think I'm fully cut out for it. I just don't desire to do that long term. So my kind of last ditch effort to keep this business alive was hiring a seamstress and everybody thought it was like a good idea. And I was like, yeah, I can pay this person like hourly or per piece or whatever they think. And they can kind of pump all these outfits. I'm looking for like a really good professional seamstress. So I put a job Job listing on Upwork and I actually got a lot of people hitting me up and at first I got a girl from Arizona that I chose and we were just gonna do like mailing back and forth which would have costed a lot of extra money in the long run so I'm honestly like happy I didn't do that it just would have been very extra and I was like okay I could ship her all the fabric and all the things that she needs she can ship me the outfit back and then I'll put on like the straps and I'll put the little gem on it and I'll ship it out I'll do all that stuff and I'll do the marketing she was like going on vacation and like she wasn't ready to start yet and like it was just kind of taking a lot of time so I was gonna send them out fabric to make two outfits both were like the green fairy outfit that I had they were gonna make one of them like the original ethereal zen that's what I called it the original and then I had like a little upgraded version and I was gonna make a few changes on each I obviously wanted it to turn out well enough as I'm hiring a professional seamstress to where I could use it on the mannequin and then like we could start selling because it's made to order now so I get a message that day I'm supposed to work with the Arizona woman it's from a girl that lives in my county and she lives about 30 minutes away I was like okay that's honestly what I always wanted I was originally Originally looking for someone that lived in my county and in SoCal the fact that I didn't have to do the shipping as well like I could actually go to her house I could meet her face to face she could meet me and we could kind of build a relationship that way I could drop stuff off to her she could drop stuff off to me and it just like seemed like a better deal the Arizona girl hasn't like fully committed like I haven't signed her on like we haven't done like tax things yet I'm gonna go with you the Arizona girl was so gracious when I told her and everything she totally understood and I don't really think she like cared that much to be honest so I was like perfect I'm gonna go with this girl that lives 30 minutes away bless amazing she seemed awesome she seemed like the vibe saw her Instagram talked to her for like a long time in the Instagram DMs and then we switched over to text I told her everything about pricing what I'm looking to pay out for the first two outfits I was gonna give her all the stuff that she needed all the fabrics all the supplies so she wasn't gonna be using anything but like her sewing machine that she already had so she was fully aware that for the two green outfits I was willing to pay like 160 ish but of course if you feel like you know you need a little bit more for whatever you're doing like I'll totally be willing to wiggle with that but like 160 for two outfits and the seamstress was literally only going to create the two top pieces so it's literally just like two little tiny bikini top pieces and then a skirt and that's it two skirts and then four little top pieces to make two outfits so you'll hear about that later in the story so I go down to her house dropped the stuff off originally and she seemed really cool so I was like really confident I was really excited and we didn't really talk about how fast it would be but I genuinely thought it would be like a few days so about two weeks goes by and during those two weeks she is contacting me about like certain things she wants to do she's like oh maybe we could do embroidery I wanted to see if she wanted like a little creative control too like I don't mind we could change it up a little bit like these are brand new reinvented outfits they're not going to be exactly the same as my other one so like sure so as she's like creating these two outfits during those two weeks I got like maybe one picture or two pictures one of them looked fine and then she sent me like a really weird angle picture of the really bad skirt which had the embroidery on it that she wanted to do so I totally understand trial and error you know it's okay but communicate with me about these things because I really had no idea what was going on so I look at this picture it's in like portrait mode it's like kind of blurry it's to the side but I was giving her the benefit of the doubt because you still couldn't really tell and I just wanted to see like I thought okay maybe she's not done like maybe she's not finished two weeks go by for something that should have taken a few days that was also making me nervous because we talked about when she got started and we actually got customer orders that she would do hourly but I gave her an original base price for what I was willing to 
pay for these two outfits. She texts me and it's like late at night and I'm ready to go to bed and she's like, do you want me to send the invoice now? And I was like, yeah, of course, sure. Just thought, okay, the invoice is gonna be what we agreed on. The invoice has my name on it, has my address. It's totally for me. The first week, so out of two weeks, the first week, she didn't even have both weeks on this invoice. She had the very first week, $636. Naturally, I'm heating up. I'm hot. I'm pissed. Seb is calming me down. He's helping me write the text back Obviously, we are so nice and so professional. I'm just like kind of freaking out to him So think about it I mean obviously my head too why I'm getting so mad is like that's the first week So does she think the second week is gonna be six hundred and thirty six dollars too and I'm gonna owe her twelve hundred to thirteen hundred dollars I calm down. I bring myself together. Seb helps me write something out I change some things and I sent her a really nice message like hey I think we misunderstood each other. I said in the beginning messages with us like I had the screenshot and everything this is what I was willing to pay like I was totally willing to pay more especially if you did a little embroidery piece like I'll totally pay for that she made like little arm sleeves and stuff with fabric I gave her so like totally I will pay you a little extra like I totally don't mind she texts me back immediately and she's like oh my god wait what like it's definitely not that much or something like that and so she's like oh my god that was the wrong one hee <laughs> hee I'm so crazy that was totally the wrong one so she sent me another invoice and it was for the two weeks and it was 232 which was like totally more what I wanted to pay but I was so nice to her I was like oh I totally understand it's fine like I really tried to give her the benefit of the doubt like maybe that was for somebody else maybe she works for other people I think a big mistake I made too was paying her before I saw the stuff I was talking to my friends recently during her girls night and they were like you should have gone down to look at the stuff make sure it was quality make sure it was good and like she actually did it she had it and then paid her and I was like yeah I just didn't think I'm really bad at this honestly I'm awful and I didn't think she'd screw me over I wasn't gonna be like let me test the stuff and see if your work is is worthy because at the end of the day I'm gonna pay her anyway because she put energy and effort into it regardless if it's good or bad or if it's whatever so I kind of was taking a shot in the dark here kind of knew my money could be wasted or not also this was approaching my Shopify date where they bill you again yearly so I drive down after I paid her the 232 and I get out and she has a giant Ziploc bag like maybe one of the freezer sized ones and both of the outfits and everything she made was just stuffed inside it completely stuffed inside a Ziploc bag like I maybe that's normal in like sewing world I don't know but with all the intricacies of these outfits like there's butterflies hand stitch there's embroidery there's like really dainty fabric like this it's not a big deal nothing really happened like you can stuff it in a bag I guess if you want but it was just weird presentation to me for like nice outfits you know like so I get in the car and she kind of like scurried off didn't really say much to me just kind of like gave it to me I got in the car and I took it out of the bag like you're joking and that's like the moment that I knew like I was probably done like I was quitting I just I didn't want to deal with this anymore and that it would actually bring me more relief and save me money to not do this anymore it was something I tried and it didn't work out that's okay I think the most frustrating part for me is like just communicate with me she had two weeks to tell me hey I didn't do this properly hey I can't figure out how to do the skirt I need a practice run I'll go pick up the fabric or I'll come get fabric from you or whatever like during the process like I totally would have understood I would have bought more fabric for her like even if it was like a little extra money for me for her to redo it it's fine if you really just couldn't figure it out which it looks like she really couldn't so you're gonna give me back two sets that you know are supposed to go on the mannequin for my website so i'm gonna take pictures of them on my mannequin you're gonna give me these back for that to market and sell the product i was actually shocked like she fully knew like i even said to her the last thing i said to her was like we'll get this up and we'll get going and we'll start the sales like i was like so excited like we'll see if people want these because now it's made to order and i just look at it like i can't even take a picture of that and i was just like okay i'm not even gonna write her back till tomorrow because like i'm kind of angry and I'll tell her like your services won't be needed. Thank you for your time. Like I said, I'm super nice. Like firing her technically took like so much effort and like a slow letdown for me. <laughs> so I plan to not talk to her till the next day. And I think like, oh, she'll just be chilling. She's not gonna care. She texted me pretty much like right when I get home with nothing from me. I didn't tell her anything. I didn't message her. She knew nothing. All she knew was what she gave me. And I get a message from her and it's like a novel and it's like explaining everything <laughs> that happened. She's like trying to explain to me like what the marks on it are because there's like blue and yellow marks. I literally thought the yellow was mustard so she texted me just like apologizing saying she knows she can do better than this it's like why didn't you tell me this during the two weeks and like before I paid you this is the worst first impression you could give to someone you're trying to 
work with and she was really nice she was like complimenting my brand she was like I love your work like I want to like help you know I appreciated that and I was super nice to her I'm not here trying to like bash her I'm really not like just the whole process was like kind of annoying you know my work isn't perfect but it was just a lot neater I'm not at all saying I'm any better than her and I'm sure it really was just like a mistake but it was just more trouble than what it was worth at this point I basically let her down really nice I was like thank you so much for your time like I won't be needing your services but she kept like asking to come like get more fabric from me to create the outfits again I appreciated it like I do a totally appreciate someone that like likes my brand and like likes what I was creating and like wants to help but it just like wasn't a good fit so like I said this isn't at all her fault that why I shut it down and I told her that too I'm like I, I think I'm just gonna be kind of done with this <laughs> thank you so much like your efforts don't go unappreciated or unnoticed like I was super nice and then she finally got the hint she never replied <laughs> maybe she's just better in like certain other areas or just the skirt is really hard I know the skirt wasn't perfect when I first made it so I told her that I was like and I told her the reason why I was not gonna continue with her was like I just would have liked communication throughout those two weeks I didn't even think it was gonna be two weeks but it was gonna be like a few days and just understood what you were going through if you totally messed up it's okay let me come help let me let me do whatever like let me give you tips let me show you like I feel like it didn't need to like go on that long it was like a waste of both of our time so this is my skirt it's very fairy like the back has a little butterfly and then see how the back is like kind of folded in like that so it gives it like that pretty effect I don't know it's nice and even for the most part so this is what I got and like this is the embroidery that was really pretty I really did like that it's not clean like look at that it's like bunched up right there like what I can't use that there's still thread here that's not cut off there is yellow and blue marks she said it's chalk for like sewing stuff which I understand I use clips what okay I can't use that for pictures to sell this the top was not terrible actually um but like just the fabrics weren't even like like this isn't supposed to be open this is supposed to be sewed down and it was like fully open granted i've made that mistake before she did make another skirt that wasn't nearly as bad this is like the second version i wanted to make but she sewed it on the outside. Not terrible though. This is literally nobody's fault. This is just a story. I didn't shut down my website because of her. I didn't end the seamstress search because of her. I just wanted communication if I'm gonna be working with someone. And then I thought to myself, okay, if I keep my Shopify open, I pay the $350 yearly fee to have your website. And then I keep searching for seamstresses and then I'm paying them, but then their work isn't up to par or something goes wrong, then I'm just wasting so much money and I'm gonna quit anyway. So basically that's when I made the final decision to just quit. If it feels so good like I'm so relieved I just think I got really excited about an idea and didn't think it through and realized like what I wanted to do long term and what I would actually be happy doing and it's just not sewing like it felt so good and fulfilling at first and then you just get drained there is no need to do things that don't make you happy so thank you guys so much for watching no it like wasn't that important or like needed to be addressed I was just like why not tell them the story like why not go into it a little bit because I was doing that for a while I don't know I was like might as well explain kind of what happened in my thought process with everything and that you don't have to stay with something if it's not working you know i really hope you enjoyed this video there's lots of content and vlogs coming don't forget to follow me on social media instagram twitter tiktok all the good things and i will see your lovely beautiful faces in my next video bye guys